Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Jack Scott Hill, Flying Frog Productions, looking at Fortune and Glory Treasure Hunters expansion. Thank you, it's so great to be here. It's great to see you again. That's right. Now this is actually the second expansion, although released at the same time as the first expansion. Or not, not, not quite. Only at Gen Con you have. You have them both on the show floor at Gen Con, but we don't even have them in stock ourselves in okay. Seattle. Uh, we just got a pallet of them flown in from China, made early, so that we could have them as a surprise. You know, we, we always try to do a lot of great stuff for our fans and gamers that come to Gen Con. We want them to have cool stuff that they can check out and, uh, you know, stuff that no one else can have, at least for a little while. You know, you know. And then the other thing that's great is um, our biggest advertising has always been word of mouth. Uh, we get good buzz. We, we believe in our products, and when people take them back home from Gen Con, they're going to play it with their friends, and by the time the game comes into stores, there's already going to be really good word of mouth. So that, that's what we're hoping for. And uh, Fortune and Glory Treasure Hunters is an incredibly ex exciting new uh, expansion for Fortune and Glory. It adds four new heroes to the game. There's uh, Jenny Butler. She's a uh, Hollywood starlet, a young actress. She's on the hunt for her missing brother, so she's, got, she's on a mission. Okay. We've got uh, Grant Jackson. He's a soldier of fortune. I saw him walking around earlier. He is here on the show floor today, actually, yes, being rough and tumble and, uh, and uh, telling people all about the game. We also have Angel Espinoza, the, the grease monkey. She's a, uh, an auto mechanic and, and kind of a, she's a very good looking girl for being an auto mechanic. She's, she's around too. Yeah. And she is uh, here in the flesh. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, Sir Nigel Harrington. He is a, 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 a prim and proper Englishman who is a big game hunter, uh, a fantastic addition to the, uh, to the cadre of characters that we have for Fortune and Glory. And uh, he's ex-British military, so sometimes he's been known to run around with his pith helm and his like red coat and, uh, and his uh, British military outfit. Uh, but as they're wont to do. Uh, yeah, as they're wont to do, yes. Um, besides the new heroes, there's also two new villains for the mob. There's uh, Joey Smiles and Mickey the Hammer, two new goons for the mob that you can add to your uh, already uh, powerful cast of villains. I just love the word goon. I just goon is a cracks me up every word. Time. Goon. <laughs> Um, but besides all these new heroes and villains, we have uh, new new uh, cards for almost all the decks in the game. That means new uh, artifacts, adventures, gear, allies, dangers, uh, you know, villains, everything. Uh, and we have two new uh, uh, gameplay elements that we've added. There's a set of counters for the docks, and what you do is you put them down at all the port cities, and now when you go to a port city, um, you can flip over the counter and find out uh, you know what you've encountered because we, we uh, in looking at the genre of pulp adventure everything happens at the docks it's always mysterious and sometimes dangerous down at the docks so we thought what if we had this set of dock counters and and uh, cool stuff can happen to you when you go to a port city that that might not normally happen inland um, besides that we have a fantastic new deck called personal missions with 20 new personal mission cards and what this does is it gives a secondary objective to uh, to your hero. So, so they're not character game, specific, but not character specific. It's just uh, at the start of the game, everybody's like, okay, so the deal is, I'm trying to collect fortune, getting artifacts, a bunch of Nazis. Okay, I got it. And it's like, well, but wait, there's more. Draw a personal artifact. Keep it secret. No one else knows what it is. And when you complete that mission, you get a bonus, which could be glory, could be fortune, could be a stat upgrade or some other bonus. But uh, once you complete one for one uh, personal mission, you draw another one. So you'll always have a secondary objective for the game. And it's one of those things where once we started playing with that, and then you don't have it, you feel like it's been missing all of your life. So uh, so this is a, a must-have expansion for the fortune and glory crowd. And this is November? Do this it? should be in stores in November. Uh, yes, November. And uh, I should also mention uh, we have two new uh, supplements for Fortune and Glory besides these boxed expansions. Uh, available right now on our web store is the uh, Fortune and Glory Danger Pack 1, which has new dangers for the game, and a brand new one that we debuted here at Gen Con called Sands of Cairo. And it's actually a, a web supplement, only available, only going to be available on our web store. Um, and it is our first themed game supplement. And what that means is it's called Sands of Cairo. It's all Egyptian themed stuff. So suddenly your characters can buy and ride a camel. And there are dangers like Buried Tomb, where you flip the cliffhanger side and it's Curse of Amut. Things like that. So uh, that's a lot of fun, and I can almost guarantee there's going to be more of these for uh, different locations around the world. All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview.
Obviously, we'll yeah, see we what's love next. talking to you guys.